Max Verstappen threatens to FK up Sebastian Vettel, Daniel Ricciardo and Hulkenberg Verstappen was furious that he will have to start the race from fifth place on the grid. The Dutchman was gearing up for a flying lap when he was overtaken by Sebastian Vettel, Daniel Ricciardo and Nico Hulkenberg. The congestion caused the Red Bull driver to go over the start line unprepared. He raged on the team radio about Vettel's manure but then spoke to Dutch press about how he plans to get revenge on the trio. We were just staying neatly behind each other, but at a certain point Vettel passed me and the two Renaults as well, he told Zigo Sport. So they fd up my entire build up, while there is an unwritten rule that you just follow each other. From now on in qualifying I'm going to FK them up as well. Mercedes locked out the front row in Shanghai as Valtteri Bottas beat Lewis Hamilton to pole position. And Hamilton admitted he was struggling with the car this weekend. Valtteri was particularly quick in the first sector so I was experimenting throughout the session. Hamilton told Motorsport.com I think I had the quickest sector in the end but it was a little bit too late. But still it's all about making improvements. It wasn't to do with tire temperature it was just to do with balance and getting the flow, utilizing the grip in the right areas. As I said I've been struggling with the car, just battling the thing. It's obviously a great car but the first few races are always quite tricky. It shifts later on in the season and you get a better understanding. Next news Vettel, Mercedes bloody quick in the corners. Sebastian Vettel has said Ferrari's straight line speed is being countered by Mercedes being bloody quick in the corners. Heading into China as favorites by many. The skewed area were unable to make any real impression on Mercedes with pole sitter Valtteri Bottas three tenths clear of Vettel in P3. Vettel tried to take some comfort from the fact that he is starting right behind the two silver arrows, but feels their main strength is clear for all to see. I think we had a good session, maybe there was a little bit more. Vettel told Martin Brundle on track. I was actually quite happy I managed the final attempt because it was quite marginal on time. I think there was maybe a little bit more but not enough to beat these guys today. They're bloody quick in the corners. When we get close we have an advantage on the straight line so maybe we can do something there. Vettel would later add to the press that he is still not completely happy with the feeling of his SF90 car. We have a strong platform to work from, we started off well from Barcelona, the feeling was strong, he said. Since then, we've, struggled to repeat that. The past two races, we had little issues here and there. Bahrain didn't go my way. Saturday, had a small problem. Sunday, struggled in the first stint. Here and there, I'm not happy. You try and drive around the problems and try to set up the car properly. Maybe some things related to tracks, which Barcelona doesn't show, but the car is strong so it's up to us to extract the performance. Next news Hamilton still struggling, forced to experiment. Lewis Hamilton has said he is still struggling with his Mercedes after being denied a 7th Chinese GP pole position. Hamilton was pipped to the post by teammate Valtteri Bottas, who edged out the five-time world champion by 23s to clinch top spot for Sunday's race. The Brit was unable to improve on his final hot lap and said that his performance only really started to come together after a period of experimentation throughout the early stages of qualifying. Valtteri was particularly quick in the first sector so I was experimenting throughout the session, Hamilton told Motorsport.com I think I had the quickest sector in the end but it was a little bit too late. But still it's all about making improvements. It wasn't to do with tire temperature it was just to do with balance and getting the flow, 
utilizing the grip in the right areas. As I said I've been struggling with the car, just battling the thing. It's obviously a great car but the first few races are always quite tricky. It shifts later on in the season and you get a better understanding. Hamilton was proud of the fact that he was able to significantly close the gap, but a stellar Bottas deserved pole position. I was struggling with the car throughout yesterday and today going into Q2, but I made a couple of changes with some settings on the wheel and changes to the lines, to bridge the gap, Hamilton added. Honestly I'm quite proud of the job I've done considering how far I was earlier on in the session. Valtteri's been quick all weekend. He deserves the pole. We've been chipping away, I'm much happier as at one point it was 8 tenths. To be as close as we were at the end is fantastic. Hamilton said there is still more to come from Mercedes, who are managing to counter Ferrari's raw pace with fantastic cornering ability. He said, it's an incredible result for the team. There's a little bit more time left on the table but I'll try and again tomorrow. Ferrari, are particularly quick on the straights but it's evident this weekend we've managed to pull some performance from the corners, so just great work from the guys back at the factory. Next news Leclerc curses himself after a crucial Q3 error. Charles Leclerc was cursing himself after a scruffy Q3 left him starting on the second row behind Sebastian Vettel in China. Leclerc, who clinched his first pole position in Bahrain in round two, was unable to make it two on a bounce with Mercedes in a league of their own at the Shanghai International Circuit on Saturday. Instead, Ferrari were left squabbling over second row positions, with Leclerc coming out second best by 17s to his teammate Vettel who will line up from P3. The Monaco driver was furious with himself as his shot at third spot on the grid was ruined by self-inflicted errors. F I did mistakes. Our guess, Leclerc said over the radio. Not good enough for me. From my side, not speaking of the car. I should have done better. I'm not happy with myself, he added back in the paddock. I did a mistake on the last lap and I should not have done that. Overall, I think there were some positives from my side because FP1, FP2, and FP3 I was quite lost, struggling a little bit, actually quite a lot. We did a final change for quality and it was better. I drove better and the lap time came. It's good, but also disappointing because I think there was potential to do more today. Asked if he can bounce back on race day, he replied, I hope so. We will see how the race runs but it's going to be very tricky from my side. But I will push for the best possible result. Thank you for watching the video. Be sure to share and subscribe to your channel to get the latest sports news around the world. Wished health and success. Goodbye.